Alright guys, part two of the video. So I've gone through and done each of those next four or five years in there. And you can see, as I said, the bottom of each or the average of all those four values will equal one across the bottom there. So that's something to keep an eye out for. <clears throat> next thing that we want to do is we would now want to find the average of each quarter okay, across each of those eight years. So again, it's just that simple average formula. Okay, equals average. We want to highlight all those cells, close the bracket, and hit enter. Okay, so we've got the ability to now drag that one down. And we've got our averages for each quarter across the eight years, across the eight um, time frames, time periods. Um, now what we want to do is we want to actually go and put these four values down into this table here. So we're going to go on label, and you're going to do the same is label this. Now you'll see that second one should just snap in there. If it doesn't, guys, that wrap to text button will fit all that text inside. It'll make your, your rows a bit high, but that's fine. So we've got one, two, three, and four quarters. I'm going to go and formulate this because I just think it's important once we start formulating to keep formulating. So in this first one here, we want the average of quarter one. So equals J9. We tab across. Equals uh, that one there, J10. Tab across, next one uh, will equal this. Tab across, and then the last one will equal that there, and tab across. Save typing those values in. The formulas will just go ahead and do that for us straight away. Um, from here, we're gonna pause it there, make sure you're all up to speed with that. Part three of the video will come close to finishing off the, uh, the concept here, but there'll be a couple more parts, um, as we just wanna break it down a little bit so it's manageable for you.